Green will be taking on George Arias as part of the Showbox and New Generation this Friday night from the Turning Stone Casino Resort in Verona, New York, for the Big Hall of Fame weekend. Uh, Alon, how you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good, pretty good. So uh, got this big fight, uh, national television, Showbox, Hall of Fame weekend. Got, 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 a, got a lot going on this weekend for this big fight. How you doing a few days out? Uh, I'm ready. I'm just ready to get out there and show the world my talent on Showtime. You had a change of opponent, if I'm not mistaken. You were supposed to fight Elvis Garcia. He, he's out because of uh, out of the ring circumstances. Now you're fighting George Arias. Uh, how, how did that uh, throw a wrinkle into your training? Uh, no, it, it, it didn't really. Uh, they, they're similar opponents. They both, you know what I'm saying, got, got kind of similar styles. They both are hookers. They both throw a lot of looping punches. So it didn't really change nothing. Um, Tell us a little, yeah. a little bit about we, yourself. I'm sorry. Uh, I was about to say, you know, we just train hard for this fight, so it really didn't matter who who's on the other side. Um, but yeah, he said, tell you about the training. Training went, we've been going pretty good. Uh, I've been getting some great sparring, <clears throat> great sparring for this fight. Um, I'm in real great shape. I didn't have to get all the way down the cruiserweight, so didn't have to uh, cut cut that much weight. <laughs> so I feel great. Uh, nice that's and strong. Good. That's a good segue. Um, you you started out as a heavyweight, then you went down the cruiserweight, now back up the heavyweight. What's what's the thought process about going up and down? Uh, it's it's cool. This is my, like my normal walk around weight. I normally walk around at like 215, 220. So it's, it was nothing. I just was able to focus on other stuff, and I didn't have to focus on cutting weight. Just focus on boxing and sharpening it up. Is that is this weight more preferable to you because, like you said, you don't have to cut the weight? Uh, no, I, I like fighting a cruiserweight. This was just, you know, a great opportunity to to, to get on Showtime and, and showcase my talents. I guess they liked it how I uh, uh, finished off Clarkson at this weight, so they wanted to see me at uh, the bridge weight. Uh, you, uh, you're managed by John Johnson, who those not in the know, uh, he, he took a heavyweight to some great heights about 30 years ago, a guy by the name of Buster Douglas. Obviously he's got a lot of experience. What's it like being, you know, uh, with a manager, you know, and, you know, promoter Bobby Hitts and who, who's involved, uh, who's been, been, who's been a long time, uh, boxing guy as well. What's it like to have a real experienced team in your corner? Uh, great. Uh, they they moved me. Also, I got my other promoter, Troy Speakman. Um, but yeah, it feels great. They they moving me in the in the right direction, as you know. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. The number nine in the in the world right now with the WBC. No, no number nine with the the IBF. I believe fifteen with the WBC. Um, uh, this fight right here is for the, the, the WBC silver. So I feel like they've been moving me in the right direction. You, your last three wins, you mentioned the Clarkson win before that, not second round knockout over undefeated Taylor Durr and, uh, a win over Steve Bougie, who's a, a real tough fighter from New York. Th those are the three fights that have re really set you up for this opportunity. Talk about, you know, obviously you've stepped up in competition and you've come through with flying colors. Talk about, you know, those last three fights. Uh, yeah, I feel like they, they just, you know, they keep putting opponents uh, in front of me. And I just been, uh, it's been a lot of people who, who didn't, didn't think I was ready, but I've been showing them wrong. So I'm, I'm here to keep showing them like I'm, I'm, here to stay. This is where I'm supposed to be at. Obviously, Showbox is one of those platforms that springboards fighters to even greater opportunities. Is that the way you look at this? A win on on Friday night, and you will be, you know, one of those guys to be looked at in the heavyweight mix. <coughs> well, not heavyweight. I, I plan on going back to cruiserweight after this, okay. but definitely, definitely be looking out for me. You definitely going to see me on on the. Uh, on the way to a world title. Okay, so uh, take a, you know, break down cruiserweight for, for a minute. Uh, 
a lot, lot of fighters overseas. He, I mean, like I said, a big win here. You think it puts you in line to to fight one of the one of the big guys overseas? Yes, sir. That's exactly that's that's why I'm here. That's that, and that's the plan. So after this fight, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm looking to go 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 chop down some dudes from from overseas and keep 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 this thing going on the way to a world title. Cleveland, Ohio. There's been you know there's been an influx of talent from Cleveland, Ohio. Recently, with guys like uh, Tiger Johnson, Charles Conwell, uh, you know uh, Isaiah Steen, uh, what, what's it about Cleveland now that that we're, we're getting to see so many uh, quality fighters such as yourself? Uh, I don't know. I guess it's a, it's a tough town here. You know, uh, I guess we are. It, it, it's something in the water or something. It, it got us. <laughs> We all on that level. We all on on the top top of the the boxing world. Like my my guy, he got a page. He got a quote. Ohio runs boxing. I guess, guess we we started to make that true. Yeah, I mean, obviously, with after LeBron left and, and the Browns and and now Guardians, I guess they're called now. They haven't had <laughs> so much success. Uh, yeah, you know, it seems that 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 they could be brewing a couple boxing champions. Yes, yeah, sir. Definitely what do you uh? What do you? <laughs> What do you want to say to the fans in closing before we let you go? We see you this Friday night taking on George Harris as part of Showbox and New Generation Live from the Turning Stone Resort. Oh, one, one other question. It's Hall, of Fame, it's Hall of Fame weekend up there. And I'll imagine a, a lot of the Hall of Famers may be in attendance. A lot of the, uh, the big namers will be in attendance. Uh, you, you, uh, is that, have you thought about that? And, you know, who may be out in the crowd and, you know, may, maybe, uh, you know, put on a show in front, in front of some of the all-time greats? Definitely. That's all I've been thinking about is how great I'm going to look in front of all, all the Hall of Famers. What do you um What, what do you want to say to the fans in closing? Uh, just you know, make sure y'all tune in on Friday, and, and and don't don't keep your eyes peeled. Don't make sure y'all don't don't blink, don't walk away because I mean, I'm known for knocking people out. So make sure y'all y'all stay tuned. And uh, for all the fans. Uh, because I'm sure after a big win, they're going to be all hitting you up on the social media. Where do they find you? Uh, Alante Bam Bam Green on Instagram and on Facebook, Alante Green. There you have it. Thank you for a few minutes of your time. We wish you best of luck. We will t- check you out Friday night on Showtime, part of Showbox, the new generation. Alante Green, best of luck, and we'll talk to you along the way.